just get the run around Wham bam, Kapow, who's gonna help us now? <laughs> Call the feds, the people cry These bad guys got no alibi Is there a crime buster in the house? Call for Elliot Mouse No baloney, this guy's no phony On ass to the bone Step on the gas mag Trap that bad guy Al Capone Unbeatable Incorruptible well, hello there, Tom. No one walks these streets at night. The sirens wail and bullets fly. We need a little justice now. Call for Elliot Mouse. We live in fear of cheese racketeers. Beat the sky. But we've got tough guys on our side. So kiss your kids goodbye. Incredible. Incredible. Unbribable. Unbribable. The untouchable. The untouchable. She's the Great Depression of the 1930s meant hard times for the people of Cheese Cargo. But more than hard, these were strange times. And we're really talking Strangeville here. The police protected the hoodlums and the judges declared all the criminals innocent. Yes, sir, just seemed like the whole world had gone mad. Do you really expect me to publish this? Ah, oh, come on, boss. Everyone knows Catone's bought off the city authorities. You can't just come out with it. You gotta say the police don't have the resources or the wheels of justice turn slowly. And that journalists in Chicago don't have that much to report these days. <sighs> hey, Barani! About this time, I began investigating a strange piece of information about the United Mice of America Army. Senior Catone, have you seen the Cheese Cargo Tribune? There's an item in here that you might be interested in. What, Nitty? If it's about the horse racing, I already know. The Colonel beat Sergeant by a head, and I had everything bad on Sergeant. I don't need any more bad news, Nitty. Huh. Oh, uh, really? Well, as you're not in the best of moods, maybe this isn't the right time. Maybe I should come back later. Wait up, Nitty. What news item? What are you talking about? Uh, hey, watch it, you cheesy chump. Here, get hold of this. Read me the news item, then get out of here. Who oh, my those? Well, all right, senor. I'll just have to read it to you. The army set up a warehouse to store all the weapons it no longer uses, and they'll be shipping in any day now. Did you say the army? Yes, senor. So you're talking about a place that'll be full of colonels and sergeants just to remind me how much money I lost at the races, right? What'll I do with you? But, boss, think of all the weapons up there just waiting to be picked up. Rifles, grenades, machine guns. With an arsenal like that, we control the whole country, not just Cheese Cargo. Sure, it's a great uh... idea. That way, the army would intervene directly in Cheese Cargo's affairs. You must think I'm stupid, you screwball. Oh! Look out! Nitty, get up! Hello, who's calling, huh? Excuse me, Senior Catone, it's Doug Moran on the phone. He says he's here and he's come alone. He wants a powwow, so what shall I tell him? That fat pig of a dog, tell the doorman to throw him in front of a streetcar. But he says he's got something very important to discuss, Senior Catone. Hmm. All right, Nitty, but I ain't having that mangy dog in my rooms. Tell the slug we'll meet him by the hotel swimming pool and tell him that it had better be important. That is, if we don't want to end up as a novelty snack for my new pets. <laughs> Good morning. I... Oh, I nearly fell in. Well, well, face to face with my old friend Doug Moran. I'm all ears. No doubt you've read the newspapers, Al, my good old friend. If you've come to talk about that army weapons store, the answer's no. What do you mean, no? That weapons depository is in your territory. All you gotta do is steal them. End of discussion, Moran. I got enough trouble with them uncrushables as it is. Why, uh, yes, Yeah, but... just drop it, huh? Senior Catone's in a bad enough mood already. Come on, Al. You steal them, I sell them, and we split the profits. Now, I can't say fairer than that, can I? He's right, Senior Catone. That's some deal. <laughs> Whoa! Just look at our men, senor. They're bored. They want to see some action, and this won't cost us a cent. Uh, uh, uh.
Your deputy has more business acumen than you these days, Catone. As you say, he's the deputy and I'm the boss, and the answer's no. Yeah. All right, but you know what I think? I didn't know you could think. I think you want to keep the whole weapons business for yourself. Oh, no, absolutely not. Think about it, senor. This could be a moneymaker. Shut up. Quiet, Nitty. Oh, no, all right. Either we're partners or enemies, Catone. We ain't partners, dog. All right, that's it. This is war. Be it on your own head. You sure you want to start a gang war, Senior Catone? If you argue with me one Ooh. more time, Nitty. All right, boss, I hear ya. I won't, Senor. I'll shut up. I promise. I'll shut up. I'll shut up. Hello, boys. My story is strange but true. This ain't no fairy tale I'm telling you. So listen up, fellas, and listen good. Love made right out of me. It captured my heart only to... It's too bad. It's been weeks and not one tip off about any gangster activity. Exactly seven weeks, three days, and five hours to be precise, Elliot. All this inactivity is boring. Love made right out of me. Ah. Well, as long as we are inactive... We can enjoy these cheese cocktails. Set them up, Pierre. Oui, monsieur. I wonder what our informers are up to. Monsieur Elliot, someone asking for you. Ah, thanks. Elliot Mouse, who's calling? Go to the warehouse huh? on Havarti Avenue on the corner of Mozzarella. You'll find something interesting. Yeah? We just got a tip, fellas. Looks like that boredom's about to come to an end. Great. Hey, wait. Hey, I haven't finished my cocktail. Come on, Gordon, let's move it, shall we? Okay, I'm ready. I'm not saying this to be cruel. But I made a rat out of me. Yeah. Where's your 20? Hey, fellas, there's a car coming our way. Well, is it one of ours? Everyone ready for action? Ready! Okay, then, Jack, show us what you got. See what you think of my latest invention. Fire! Oh. Ah. My melted ah. cheese missile launcher. That's awesome, Jack, but a waste of good cheese. Federal agents, everybody free. Don't worry, Elliot, they're not going anywhere. It's, it's the Untouchables. Yeah, that's what they call us. I think this is what we were looking for. We found the Gruyere Blast Furnaces, guys. Tons of melted Swiss cheese. I think I've got a faint. While I'm here, I better get samples of this cheese. Then I can analyze it and see where it came from. Which still fits it right in the south of your feds. Keep uh -huh. your big mouth shut. It had to have been Catone. Oh, yeah? Well, I bet you feds will be interested in what Scalisi's up to at this very moment. Scalisi, you say? You sure you confiscated the shipment from Marin? Of course, Scalisi, and it's top-grade Emmental cheese. It better be. We don't want you cops confiscating our cheese and selling it back to us. Don't worry, huh? Scalisi. We federal agents would never allow an officer of the law to do that. Mouse, what are you doing here? Catching you red-handed, Scalisi. The Untouchables! Wow! <laughs> ow! Ow! Give me your hands, oh, Khaleesi. I got oh. some bracelets here as a present for you. What the cheese wine are you wasting your time here for, Mouse? Wouldn't you rather be confiscating Moran's shipment of contraband slot machines? Contraband slot machine? Federal agents, get your hands up. But how did you know what we got here? Catone's men tipped us off, that's how. Uh, what? Well, I've got some information for you, Mr. Federal Officer. Well, well. You have? Uh-huh. Well, in that case, I got a hot feeling that this could be our lucky day. You listening, Fed? Catone's men are down at the racetrack at this very moment. And whatever they're doing, it ain't legal. There, what did I tell you, fellas? And thanks for the tip off. You sure this horse is called Sergeant? Yes, Mr. Anselmi. Good, then how did you know who I was, huh, fella? Only you use the highest quality stockings to hide your face behind, Mr. Anselmi. Well, thanks. Now go and find that horse they call Colonel. You wouldn't be thinking about taking them horses huh? with you and sell me, right? Huh? Just because they lost Cato in a pile of money. And they belong to Moran. Uh, 
How do you know? Hey! Next time, don't wear perfume stockings, because they stink. You look tired, Miss and me. Something to replenish your energy? How'd you guess? Four cheese drinks and four cheesecakes on the double, Pierre. Oui, Monsieur Gordon. Certainement. Oh, my poor boys. You look exhausted. What have you been up to? Working. And we haven't worked this hard in weeks. <sighs> A gang war's broken out between Caton and Marat. And instead of fighting each other, they give us the tip-off so that we'll go and arrest the rival gang. In 11 different raids, we've arrested a total of 27 gangsters. Well, from what I've heard, they're hitting each other pretty hard. So what have you heard, Deborah? Well, rumor has it that Sharp Nose Clark has set one of Catone's cheese warehouses on fire. All that cheese going to waste. In return, Catone's men blew up Moran's gambling den. That's good. We'll let them continue fighting each other, and then when they're through, all we do is pick up the pieces. That's if they don't blow up the entire city, honey. Don't worry, Bright Eyes. Cheese Cargo is perfectly safe as long as the untouchables are around. You asked to see me, Mr. Moran, sir? Yes, Kevin. The war between Caton and myself is at a stalemate, and that's no good. It means we lose. We're gonna have to give that fat cat the coup de grace. It'll be a pleasure, boss, but... You uh... just look out the window. Uh-huh. You mean the bust of the Honorable Mr. Rockefeller, boss? That's right. I want you to steal it so Caton gets blamed. No one in this city will forgive someone committing such a heinous crime against one of our best-loved figures. But, boss, I, 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 I... I don't want to hear any excuses, Kevin. Get going. Yes, sir, of course. Hey, Chew, get out of here, bird brain. What's eating you? I told you to beat it. <laughs> you stupid pigeon! Come here! Take that! Be quiet out there, you street rats! you any idea what time it is? Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> this thing weighs a ton! The cheese from that blast furnace is the highest quality Gruyere. The very best there is. My nose tells me this stuff came from Switzerland. Hello? Got a newspaper. And who is that? Check out the Santa Pages, friend. Catone's got that bust in his rooms. Hey, fellas, take a look at this. Rita Mouseworth and Cat Gable's latest film? No, Gordon. It says that unknown thieves stole the bust of Mr. Rockefeller, one of the city's most eminent citizens. All cheese cargo's up in arms about it. How could they do that to the statue of a man like him? Those cheese balls. I wonder who would want to do such a thing. An anonymous informer says it was Al Catone. And what would Catone want with the bust of Mr. Rocker for? I'm not sure, Jack, but one thing I do know, if we find that bust in Catone's safe... We'll, we'll be, be able, able to, to nail Catone, Catone once and for all! So what are we waiting for? Come on! And may I ask you, gentlemen, where you think you might be going? Oh, sure, fella. We're going up to see Mr. Catone. I'll tell him you're here and see if he can receive you. We're federal agents, pal, so we'll tell him the good news ourselves. Okay. Hey, what's going on here, huh? Go bell! She's got a little present for you, mister. Huh? For me? Oh, you shouldn't have, really. 
<laughs> nice work, Belle. Okay, fellas, the way's clear. Huh? What the? And to what do I owe this rude interruption, officers? Come on, on, open up your safe on the double. Not only do you detain my best men without reason, but you want to rob me of my life savings, is that we it? We got a huh? search warrant here, Caton, so open that safe. Of course, but if you just tell me what you're looking for. Sure, Caton, we're looking for the bust of the Honorable Mr. Rockefeller. Mr. Rockefeller, hmm? You mean the bust that was stolen? Well, it ain't in my safe, as you can plainly see. Huh? Huh? But it is in your safe, boss. Stop contradicting me, Nitty. How many times do I have to tell you, huh? Huh? <sighs> what is this? And what's a pigeon doing in my safe, Nitty? <laughs> what's your alibi this time, Catone? Hold it! This just has to be a frame-up! Wait! This is the end for you. I've been waiting a long time for this moment, and I'm going to enjoy it. Alphonse Catone, you are under arrest for stealing public property. Hey, come on, Moran set this up. You know that. Can't we work out a deal? Oh, sure. You're asking us to believe Moran stole that bust and put it in your safe. Ah, come on. It's obvious. Now, let me go. Take the bus back to its proper place, and I'll deliver Moran to you on a plate. Now, how's I don't that, make deals huh? with gangsters. Elliot, do you think I could talk to you in private for a moment? All right, you guys are under arrest for complicity after the fact. <laughs> I think it might be a good idea to accept Caton's proposal. Why is that, Wilson? Stealing that statue is only a misdemeanor, and under Article 55, a crime like that sees Caton and his men back on the streets in less than a month. Yeah, I guess you're right, Wilson. Maybe it would make more sense to lock up Moran and his gang for a few years rather than Caton and his men for a few days. So I'll hear you out, Caton, but I don't want any tricks or there's no deal. Got it? No tricks, I promise you. Now listen, what Moran is trying to do is just make sure that I'm out. Hey, look! They're coming, they're coming! I'm sorry, gentlemen, but we're not making any statements at the moment. Nice going, Worm Division. Ah! So the Untouchables have finally arrested Al Catone, huh? Something tells me this has all been too easy. Al Catone arrested. <laughs> I've never liked reading much, but I've read this copy of the Cheese Cargo Tribune ten times! <laughs> we can't lose! We can tell locked up in prison the way's clear for us to take over. Old proverbs say runaway horses travel faster when not carrying big fat cat. Ah, uh, yes, gentlemen, now nothing can get in our way. We're the kings of Cheese Cargo! <laughs> Who's this and what do you want? Is Moran there? Ah. It's real urgent. I gotta talk to him. That depends on who wants him, so who is it? It's Rat Nitty! <laughs> it's Nitty, Katone's right hand ah. man. <laughs> Good day, dear. This is Doc Moran here, Mr. Nitty. What can I do for you, sir? Uh -huh. Well, you see, ever since they arrested Catone, I've had to take uh -huh. charge of the gang. Would I be right in thinking you're looking for a new boss to help you? Well, as you know, I've always admired you, Mr. Moran, and I was keen on going in on that army weapons deal with you. Ah, yes. Keep talking, Nitty. Now, Senior Catone's on vacation, you might be interested in obtaining these goods. Ah, so you have the merchandise. What a splendid fellow you are. Meet me tonight at the warehouse on the corner of Gowder and 33rd, and we can close the deal. It's been nice talking to you. Gentlemen, not only have we got Catone locked up for good, but his gang are like rats leaving the sinking ship, and they're gonna hand us that arm shipment on a platter. Nothing can stop us now. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> According to the stars, their big delay with shipment. Don't worry about a thing, Shot knows The shipment's on its way. Here, yeah, don't worry. The only problem that idiot might have, apart from driving on the wrong side of the road, is knowing whether the traffic lights are red or green. Or maybe he thinks the army have given him machine guns with no hold on the center of the barrel. <laughs> Be silent. A sharp ear here approach of iron carriage running on cobbled roadway. I was worried about you, dear boy. Hey, no, I'm in charge. There's no need for you to worry, dog. <laughs> yes, you're right. With you in charge, I needn't worry. <laughs> <laughs> the weapons are right there in the truck. You might as well start unloading them right away, fellas. You heard the man. Get to work. 
And now we'll get down to business. Sure, whatever you say. So here's what we got. 150 machine guns, 200 pistols, 90 Please mortars. Please don't continue. Just tell me how much I owe you, dear boy. Well, after the army officers, the guards, and the truck, I'll make it $10,000 altogether. Agreed, but once we take away storage, cleaning, cataloging, and delivery to the buyer, it leaves 1,000 cheese dollars. Oh, and, uh, here it is. I did! Uh, I got the money, fellas! I got the money! Of course you did, and you and I are going to be great business partners. That's all the proof I need, Moran. Okay, huh? Doug Moran, I'm arresting you for receiving property stolen from the army. The untouchables, let them have it! Ah, it will be our see. pleasure, boss. Take cover! Come on! Maybe we can circle behind them. Huh? That was close. Right, you asked for it. You ready to go into action? Good! Right! By spirit of running cheese, you die! Big Mouth speak with Pong Tuck. Go get him, Bill! Maybe you ain't met my friend, Super Bill. Ah, the evil cheesy spinach! Ah. <laughs> hey, well done, Gordon. Well Good work. work. Did you see what he did? We gotta get out of here. Ah. Hey, come on, guys. We're just getting warmed up. Go get him, Bull! Don't know who you're messing with. <laughs> Save it, Moran. The game's up. You're under arrest. Yeah, that's right, Moran. That's for Senior Catone. <laughs> huh? Hey, come on. We made a deal, didn't we? Here. Yeah. Our agreement is just with Catone. There's nothing about you, so move it. Now, take it easy, little guys. We'll soon be back home. All right, Catone, in spite of the many crimes you've committed over the years, your men have already been released. And as much as it grieves me, a deal is a deal, so you're free to go. Go on. I'm only sorry I didn't see Moran's face when you put the cuffs on him. <laughs> now, if you'll just help me lose the bracelet's mouth. Oh, dear. Don't say you lost the key. I put the cuffs on you. Now I can't bring myself to take them off again. Elliot Mouse returns stolen weapons to Army. In spite of not being able to lock up Catone, Elliot Mouse had rid Chicago of Dog Moran for good. And even though they had to let him go, they knew the day was coming when Al Catone would be joining Dog Moran behind the bars of Catcatraz. With Dog Moran in prison, Catone is next in line to take over his turf. In particular, the Cheese and Peace lottery scam. As the Untouchables offer their help, the Cheese and Peace army decide to hire Gus Guns, one of the toughest mugs whose bullets are surely Cheese Cargo's toughest slugs. How will the Untouchables deal with this loose cannon? Will there be a shock in store, or will Gus be the one to bring down Al Catone? Find out in the next episode of Elliot Mouse and the Untouchables. Thank <laughs> you.